Hey, Aaron here. I'm the host of Table Talk, and what you're about to watch is a summary of our weekly stream. So this takes that hour-long stream, boils it down to its essentials, so you can quickly get the information you need. Without further ado, here's the stream summary. What is automations within Airtable? You can use Airtable automations to create custom logic that says, if this happens, then I want this other thing to happen. So for instance, you might say, well, when a new product is in my launches table, I wanna go ahead and send a notification to the team to let them know that we have to go ahead and start planning that campaign. Let's create a new automation from scratch. So first you have to name it. We're gonna call this new product launch. And then you have a trigger. So every automation has a trigger. This is what sets your automation in motion, right? And you have a list that you can pick from. So this is saying, when this happens, I want this automation to run. So in our case, we're gonna pick when a record is created. Cool, you need to say which table a new re record needs to be created in for this automation to run. That's in our launches table. And then action. These are the steps, the things you want your automation to do. In our case, we want to go ahead and send a Slack notification, but you can do a lot of things. You can send a notification, update a Google Calendar, or send one. So I'm gonna to go to my Four Oaks Fern. I'm gonna to go to my social campaigns channel. And then I can be custom with the message I want to send. So we're gonna say a new product is locked. It's called. So I'm gonna go click the plus button, go from step one, and insert the name of the record. And we can say, learn more here. We're gonna insert the record URL. And now let's read a new product is locked. It's called, it's gonna put in the name and provide the URL of the record. So someone can go in and click and easily access that information. Let me go ahead and run a test. That's gonna go ahead and send the message. And I could see an example right here. So this is my Slack channel. I have a new product is locked. It's called Sue Table Lamp. And then learn more here. If I would click that URL, it would bring me to Airtable and to that record. So that's an example of an automation. What are some common use cases for Airtable automations? The first is sending a notification. So when this happens in your workflow, you wanna go ahead and send an email, send a Slack message, might be to remind someone that they need to review, wanna send a customer that the delivery is ready, whatever moment in your workflow where you need to notify customers or users. Second is auto-creating things in Airtable, maybe auto-creating a record, updating information in your base based on what happens. And number three is connecting to external applications. So one might be updating Salesforce information or sending a tweet when the tweet is ready to be sent. Not exhaustive, there are other things you can do with Airtable, but those are the three most common. So do you wanna bring your attention here to some pre-built examples, right? So send a Slack message, that's category number one. Create a new record, that's category number two, when you want to automate things within Airtable and then connecting to third-party tools like Twitter, do want to show you one more example. So this is an example of a tweet. We move it to ready to publish. So let me create a view where we see that information a little better, post by platform. Let's go ahead and traverse coffee table is the tweet that we want to start drafting and then move it to ready to publish. And when it's in ready to publish, we're gonna go ahead and send it off. So we're gonna create another automation. New automation, it's gonna say send tweet. Our trigger is gonna be when record matches condition. And we wanna send a tweet when the status is ready to publish. And notice the and here, channel is Twitter. What we wanna go ahead and do is send the tweet. So Twitter, I wanna post the tweet. I've got my Four Oaks Fern account. And you'll notice that I already have the copy here in the record itself. So I'm gonna grab that from step one. I'm gonna insert that copy. Let's go ahead and import this asset. So again, going to step one, inserting that asset 
into the attachment field. And now we have all of the elements we need for our tweet. But something else I want to do here, and this is something you can do with Airtable Automations, is update the status to post it once the tweet was sent. So let me go back into Automations, add a second action here, which is update record. So go to that record, update its status to post it. So I'm going to go to my content pipeline to specify which record we want to update via its record ID. So I'm going to go to step one. I'm going to insert the record ID and the field I want to update is status. Okay. I have that send tweet is on. This one is ready to go. Let's go ready to publish. So if I go to Twitter, I refresh my timeline and we have our tweet sent from Airtable. Question Airtable sync versus Airtable automations. So sync and automations can sometimes overlap, right? But are too distinct. So sync is great when you're saying, I want to keep this information up to date from Airtable or from an external source. And automation is great when you're saying the sentence, if this happens, project is prioritized, record created, form submitted, go ahead and do this thing once, right? Go ahead and send a message, update information, send to an external application. So very, very useful, both, but are distinct. Is it possible to automate a task based on time and not only by date. I'm going to generalize this question in saying, how do you automate based on time? So one example is every Monday morning, send an email with everything that's in progress. So I'm going to call this send update on campaigns in progress. So in this case, we're going to say at a scheduled time. Right, so this is our trigger, and then we can select at what interval we want to run this. In our case, we're going to run it every Monday, so every week on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern. So we want to find records. So this is saying find all the records that have a specific criteria that we'd like to send over. So we're going to go ahead and create a condition. Now, note you can also say send everything that's in a view. I much prefer conditions. Let's preview that email. And every Monday at 10 a.m., it's going to go ahead and send this email with this grid in it with all of the information around my campaign. And now I have a time based automations. That was the stream summary. I hope you got the information you needed. If you want to dig into the details and watch the whole stream, you can click here. And I hope to see you next week in the chat at Table Talk happening every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you there.